quick experiment on the effects of passive stretching on force output of a muscle. So in this case, we're going to be assessing and stretching hamstrings. We're going to get our objective measures from a handheld dynamometer and foot pounds of pressure. So I'm going to test, then stretch her, then retest and see what happens to the numbers. So first test right here, pull back, pull, 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 good. So first one, 53, and second one, pull, 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 good. Second one, 56.7. So we'll go with 56.7 as her pretest. So I'm going to take her here. Tell me when you feel a good hamstring stretch. Okay. Okay. So most people, when you ask them how long they hold a stretch, it's anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute. We're just going to do 10 seconds. So if you stretch for and hold for 30 seconds, imagine what would happen to you if you did this when you take a look at these numbers now. All right. So post-test. Okay. Ready mm -hmm. and pull, 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 pull. All right, first one, thirty-six. Okay, and right there, pull, 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 pull. Good. Second one, forty-three. Okay, so we went down. So the question is, what happened to have her force output numbers, or in this case, what we're really testing, neuromuscular facilitation, decrease? after a 10 second stretch. So think about why that happened on a physiological level. Can you explain why stretching would make somebody weak? And if you're wondering if we've done this before, we've done this before with bigger group of, of uh, patients and typically across the board, the average is about a 22 to 25% decrease in force output after a 10 second stretch.